I believe we are witnessing the most dramatic shift in computing infrastructure since the internet went mainstream. After three decades guiding professionals through technology transformations, I can tell you with absolute certainty what's happening with cloud computing right now will reshape every business, every career, every strategic decision you make over the next decade. Most IT professionals are drowning in buzzwords. Serverless, edge, quantum, multi-cloud, hybrid, it sounds like tech marketing gone wild, but here's what actually matters. The cloud isn't just evolving, it's fracturing into something completely different. Last month, I consulted with a manufacturing company spending $300,000 annually on traditional infrastructure. Six months later, they've cut costs by 40% while improving performance by 60%. The difference was in better hardware. It was understanding where cloud computing is actually headed. Today, I'm going to show you exactly what's coming, what it means for your business, and how to position yourself ahead of the curve. This isn't theory, is the roadmap I use with Fortune 500 clients. To be blunt about what we're facing, cloud computing has evolved from simple infrastructure rental into something most organizations can't even define properly anymore. We've moved beyond public, private, and hybrid clouds into what I call the hyper-distributed reality. Three forces are driving this transformation, and understanding them determines whether you'll lead or follow over the next five years. First, cloud evolution itself. What started as rent servers instead of buying them has become a complex ecosystem spanning public clouds, private infrastructure, edge computing, and on-premises environments, all running simultaneously. Second, hyper-distribution. Your applications don't live in one place anymore. I recently worked with a healthcare startup whose AI model runs across AWS regions, on-premises clusters, 5G edge nodes, and GPU accelerated devices at customer sites. Simultaneously, this isn't the exception, it's becoming the norm. Third, unified management. The biggest shift in cloud 2.0 isn't technical, it's operational. You can't manage these distributed environments like separate kingdoms anymore. The companies winning today treat orchestration as seriously as they treat infrastructure. What actually works? Start thinking like a conductor, not a technician. The cloud complexity challenge. Here's the uncomfortable truth nobody wants to discuss. Most organizations are drowning in their own cloud strategies. I visit client data centers where teams are juggling public cloud, on-premises infrastructure, co-location, IoT devices, and edge services, all with different tools, different security models, different management approaches. It's chaos dressed up as innovation. The overwhelming complexity hits you first. Organizations are managing five different environments that barely communicate with each other. Different teams, different processes, different vocabularies. Then operational silos emerge. Your AWS team speaks a different language than your on-premises team. Your edge computing specialists have never talked to your data center managers. Critical knowledge gets trapped in departmental boundaries. Finally, fragmented management creates the real danger. You lose unified visibility across environments. Governance becomes inconsistent. Security gaps multiply. Risk increases exponentially. I watched a financial services company struggle with this exact scenario. They were running applications across three cloud providers and two on-premises data centers. A minor configuration change in one environment brought down services in another. The root cause took 14 hours to identify because no single person understood the complete architecture. A strategic approach to next generation cloud isn't optional anymore. It's essential for business survival. Cloud evolution timeline? Understanding where we're headed requires knowing how we got here. 
When AWS launched EC2 in 2006, it fundamentally changed the infrastructure game. Instead of buying servers and hoping you would guess capacity correctly, you rented exactly what you needed. Revolutionary at the time. Then containers and orchestration transformed deployment. Docker made applications portable. Kubernetes made them manageable at scale. Development teams could finally focus on building instead of configuring. Serverless and edge computing removed even more operational overhead. Why manage servers when you could just run code? Why process data in distant cloud regions when you could handle it at the network edge? Now we're entering the hyper-distributed and AI-managed cloud era. Your infrastructure doesn't just scale automatically. It optimizes itself. It doesn't just respond to failures. It prevents them. It doesn't just follow your instructions. It interprets your intentions. But here's what most people miss. Each evolution didn't replace the previous one. Today's successful organizations run infrastructure as a service alongside containers, serverless functions, and edge computing simultaneously. The skill isn't picking the right technology, it's orchestrating all of them together. The hyper-distributed reality. Hyper-distributed computing means your application isn't running in one cloud region anymore. It might live across AWS regions, on-premises OpenShift clusters, 5G edge nodes at factories, and GPU accelerated devices at customer sites, all functioning as a single system. This isn't some futuristic concept. I'm working with clients implementing this today. Four forces make hyper-distribution inevitable. Latency demands drove the first wave. Real-time applications can't tolerate round trips to distant data centers. Autonomous vehicles, industrial automation, augmented reality. They need processing power where the action happens. Compliance requirements created the second wave. Data residency laws dictate where information can be stored and processed. GDPR, healthcare regulations, financial compliance, they fragment your architecture by legal necessity. Resilience considerations fuel the third wave. Business continuity demands redundancy across multiple environments and regions. Single points of failure become unacceptable when your entire business runs on cloud infrastructure. Sovereignty concerns drive the fourth wave. Organizations and nations increasingly demand control over their digital infrastructure. This creates hybrid architectures spanning public clouds, private data centers, and national cloud services. Now look, Managing this complexity manually is impossible. That's why the most successful implementations focus on unified orchestration from day one. The biggest shift in cloud 2.0 isn't technical, it's operational. You can't afford siloed tools for each environment anymore. Organizations can't manage different environments with different tools anymore. Different management planes creating consistent security, governance, and operational practices. This fragments your team's knowledge and multiplies your risk. The solution requires unified orchestration platforms that provide consistent management across all environments, from public clouds to edge devices. Tools like AWS Outposts, Azure Arc, and Google Anthos extend cloud services into on-premises environments. HashiCorp, Terraform, Crossplane, and Pulumi enable infrastructure as code across multiple providers. These platforms deliver unified policy enforcement, so security and governance rules apply consistently everywhere. Declarative deployments let you describe what you want, then let the system figure out how to deliver it. GitOps at scale means your entire infrastructure becomes version controlled and auditable. Security as code transforms compliance from manual processes into automated enforcement. I recently implemented a unified management strategy for a retail client. Previously, they managed AWS resources with one tool, on-premises infrastructure with another, and edge devices with a third. Three different teams, three different processes, three different security models, 
After implementing Terraform with GitOps workflows, they manage everything through a single interface. Infrastructure changes get reviewed like code. Security policies apply automatically across all environments. Deployment time drop from hours to minutes. The result? Their development team ships features 40% faster while maintaining stronger security and compliance. Future technology landscape. Looking ahead, three trends will define the next decade of cloud computing. Autonomous cloud operations represent the most immediate transformation. AI won't just monitor your systems. It will optimize, patch, and even re-architect infrastructure automatically. Think self-driving cloud operations. Tools like OSQ oh, for code and operations, Google Cloud's Duet AI, and Azure Copilot are moving in this direction right now. Within two years, these systems will handle routine operational tasks better than human administrators. Within five years, they'll be designing infrastructure solutions. I am already testing autonomous optimization tools with clients. The results are remarkable. One financial services client saw a 35% reduction in cloud spending after AI-powered optimization identified unused resources and right-sized their infrastructure automatically. Quantum-ready infrastructure is approaching faster than most people realize. Cloud providers are investing heavily in quantum simulation and emulation tools today. Soon you will provision quantum acceleration nodes the same way you spin up GPU instances. A WS bracket, Azure Quantum, and IBM Quantum via API are making quantum computing accessible through familiar cloud interfaces. You don't need to become a quantum physicist. You need to understand how quantum capabilities will integrate with classical computing architectures. And the truly invisible cloud represents the ultimate evolution. Imagine infrastructure that responds to natural language descriptions of what you need, then handles all the technical implementation automatically. Store 10 terabytes of encrypted user media with global redundancy and sub 100 millisecond access times. The cloud just handles it. This is intent-based infrastructure, and it's not as far away as you might think. Strategic recommendations. <laughs> if you're feeling behind on cloud evolution, here's how to get ahead and prepare for the next generation of cloud computing. Master the fundamentals first. Understand IAM, compute, networking, and cost optimization on at least one major cloud platform before expanding to multi-cloud scenarios. I see too many organizations trying to run before they can walk. Invest in multi-cloud tooling second. Focus on learning Terraform, Kubernetes, and GitOps platforms that work across multiple environments and providers. These skills become more valuable as infrastructure becomes more distributed. Prepare for edge and hybrid scenarios. Third, learn how 5G, IoT, and on-premises clusters integrate with public cloud services to create unified application environments. Edge computing isn't a separate discipline. It's cloud computing extended to new locations. Build quantum and AI capabilities forth. Start following quantum computing developments and experiment with AI-powered DevOps tools like AWS Q or Microsoft Copilot. You don't need deep expertise yet, but understanding these technologies will matter enormously in five years. Here's what actually works. Pick one to specialization, but maintain broad awareness across related fields. The cloud architect who understands AI optimization principles designs better systems. The DevOps engineer who grasps quantum concepts will be ready when quantum enhanced cloud services arrive. The key is starting now while these technologies are still emerging. The next generation of cloud computing isn't just about technology, it's about new ways of thinking. Hybrid, hyper-distributed, and AI-managed infrastructure will define the next decade. The people who learn to navigate it now will be the architects of that future. I've spent three decades watching technology transform industries, 
What's happening with cloud computing now surpasses everything that came before. The opportunities for the career advancement, business transformation, and technological impact are unprecedented. But opportunities don't wait for you to get ready. They reward people who position themselves ahead of the curve. Visit my Udemy courses to master AI-enhanced cloud technologies through hands-on projects. Book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session through Wizen or Fiverr, where I'll provide personalized guidance tailored to your specific career goals in this rapidly evolving landscape. The future belongs to those who act today. Don't just adapt to the next generation of cloud computing, become one of its architects. Subscribe if you want step-by-step -step playbooks for navigating cloud 2.0. Comment below with your biggest cloud computing challenge. I read every comment and often create videos addressing your specific questions. Whether you're implementing your first hybrid cloud architecture or designing quantum ready infrastructure, this channel provides the strategic guidance you need to lead instead of follow. The cloud revolution is accelerating. Your position in it depends on the actions you take right now.